When a homeowner struggling with noise approaches us to soundproof a room, they're often sending us pictures of alcoves, of the measurements of the alcoves. Could you treat our, our noise problem? Well, it's not always as straightforward as just treating the alcoves and the fire back the direct noise path. In fact, that is a very small part of any soundproofing project. We find that every project that we attend has a main cause of the noise. So let's take this lounge, this semi-detached lounge, for example. This is the outside of the property. There's a hole going straight through to next door. As we go into the lounge, it actually has two massive, great big holes in the structure going through to next door. The first one is here on the bay window. So we would always open up the bay window because it's a hollow void. And before you go uh, commenting, we do make sure the roof has uh, plenty of insulation that doesn't cause condensation issue and we're making sure that roof is breathed and we actually offer 10 year guarantee with all of the work that we do. The next one is the suspended floor void. We open up the suspended floor, that's a huge hole going through to next door. And yes, it, back in the day when the house was built, that was for maybe uh, airflow to, for the suspended floor to breathe. But we would move the joists, tuck the system down, brick up all the holes in the structure. We would make sure there is plenty of airflow at the front and the side of the property. For this particular project, we actually put extra air bricks in, cleaned out the suspended floor void and made sure there is plenty of airflow before bricking up that hole in the structure and tucking the system down. For a homeowner struggling with a noise problem, bricking up that hole to stop those kitchen smells coming through so they're actually smelling their their neighbors cooking at this point so breaking up that hole to reducing the noise is very important to reducing the high frequencies in fact if you didn't brick up that hole and you just put something on the direct noise path of the alcoves uh, the fire back and the other alcove the noise would still come through because you haven't addressed the main cause of the problem so with any noise problem make sure you check for that main cause of the problem Make sure you check out part two, like, subscribe, and I go into a bit more detail on how we actually soundproof this room for this lovely couple in this three-bed semi-detached property.